This one is going to be a mom life in real life, okay? How about that? That's what we're naming this. <laughs> Hey friends, so welcome back for another video. In today's video, we are going to Sephora. I know the sale is going up, so I thought, let me just do a dedicated video. In today's video, we're going to do a Sephora recommendations in real life going to Sephora, which means that I'm not gonna put everything in my cart. So it's kind of like a mix of what's in my cart versus Sephora recommendations. And we're gonna have fun with this because I was thinking I didn't want it to be like the typical video that I usually have done in the past. Let's do one where maybe, let's do one where the Sephora, what's in my cart is actually what I'm putting in my bag and in a, another cart or I'm gonna separate the two. So let's get to it and I'll see you in a video. Okay, so we are headed into Manhattan Village. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Oh yeah, okay. So we're headed into Manhattan Village. So let's go into Sephora. I have the color appropriate colors on and we will empty, well not empty, put stuff in our cart basically. So I thought the voiceover would be so appropriate for this because I want to feel, I want you to feel like you're shopping with me. So let's grab a shopping cart. Yes, this can be very dangerous, but we're gonna do it anyway. And we're starting off with hair. Now I love Olaplex. I have not talked about it as much on my channel, but then again, I am coming back with the hair products. Yes. So I love the Bond Intense, the number eight. And I've also been loving their deep conditioner. That's the um, number six. So I'm gonna grab both of these. These are two recommendations that I am recommending to you all from Olaplex. Now right here, I was actually looking for their leave-in conditioner, which I did not find, but I will link it if I find it down in the description box. All of my links will be there and you know, they are affiliated links, but you know, if you wanna love and help your girl out on supporting the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. But let's move on to the next brand I'm going to recommend to you all, and that is Way. Now, I love Way because they have hair care and body care products now. And so the first thing I grab is the thing that's almost gone, and that is the hair oil. I actually completely have gone through one of these. I think I might have a little bit left, but the hair oil is the bomb. And also I have tried the detox. Now, this is another brand that I have not talked about on my channel, but I am recommending because it, this one has ACV, apple cider vinegar in it, and it is a great detox. It also, they used to have it where it came with a massager, but any who, okay? Next brand, these are brands that I have not talked about on my channel but I absolutely love them. And this is Moroccan oil. This is one of my first loves of like high-end salon hair care. And I'm looking actually for the hydrating. Um, I actually needed some help on this one. So I asked an, an attendant and this is the hydrating pack, but it's not enough. Y'all curly girls know. Now this is a product that I can wear in my hair, uh, either curly or straight. But because it's a sulfate shampoo, I love using this for my smooth hair. Here it is. Here's the hydrating. These are the larger bottles. I want to say these are were fifty. These are fifty dollars each, regular price. So these are going into the cart. Yes, hair care on fleek. We haven't used that in a long time. So let me stop that. Another one, Briogeo Superfood. Their deep conditioner. This is my favorite of the brand. I'm just giving you the top tier things, top shelf, the avocado. It is so smooth. It smells like Skittles, but it makes, it slides on your hair like butter, okay? Another one, I am doing deep conditioners in a deep way, money mask. Don't play with me. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite deep conditioners, probably in my top five of all time, probably in the top three. Let me say that, top three. Okay, so the money mask. I have a review on my channel about that one. 
total surprise it was a blind buy now Ottawa the tansy the blue tansy y'all this is so this is chef's kiss for your smooth hair for smooth hair like for my curly hair I like the one that's in the black and white the bail mint but the blue tansy y'all that is so good for my smooth hair okay fable and mane this hair mask is another one that slides on like butter it is pricey but don't play it is so creamy i'm about to open this up and show y'all this but it's so creamy it smells amazing and this would be again in my top five favorite deep conditioners okay salon status all right this is a phenomenal one it made me want to go and expand and search the line the hair care line for other things this is it says indian rituals type of brand and i just really like it plus you know has it's just so it's such a good one i was looking at this oil we'll come back to that in terms of putting it in my cart but these are ones that i recommend for sure that is in the cart for real for real that is the list okay let's go that's it what's in my cart those are the things that that i recommend those are my grand recommendations for hair care mm -hmm. now let's go to what i plan on putting in my cart what is currently in my cart that is the blue tansy hair oil that is for smoothing my hair another one that i plan on getting is the satisfying alma this is the Alma Smoothing Serum. Again, it's for smoothing the hair. Um, you can use it for oil to like massage in the scalp. Uh, Amna oil is phenomenal and has uh, some great Ayurvedic properties to it. So this serum I'm putting into my cart. Okay, so another thing that I was so interested in, this is the Way Body Cream in St. Bart's. It smells phenomenal. It's going into the cart. And oh yeah, I found a set. So yeah. I actually tried the Prickly Pear Oil. Uh, I wanted to see, I was curious about the Hair Care brand day. It's okay, but you know what? It's a, a little bit too heavy and viscous. So I'm probably gonna put that one back. So let's talk Selena Gomez because this rare beauty, this Warm Wishes Effortlessly Bronzer Stick, Effortless Bronzer Stick, I definitely wanted to try. I ran out of my, what is it, the minted one that I have. And so I think this one, the one in Full of Life, or the one after that. Is the one I actually chose. I think I'm going to choose the one that's in the middle. Because the left one is a little bit too gray. And the right is too red. So I really enjoyed looking at these. And it was a it was a decent price too. So that is going into the cart. I've heard so many great things about LYS's contour stick. So I went to look at these. Unfortunately they are all sold out. Except the darkest shade at the sephora and i really want to try this one i actually wanted to try this one over the uh rare beauty one i didn't even know that the rare beauty one existed until i got there um or like a few maybe a day or so before but this is the one that i really wanted to try because everybody talked about how smooth um and i like the fact that it's also black owned but that's where I am right now. I'm going probably t towards the Rare Beauty one because this one was all sold out. Hopefully there will be a stock of these during the sale. I absolutely, in this season, have been loving lip balm. So the Summer Fridays one, that was the last one on the shelf going in the cart. No joke. These are things that I'm willing to try. Also, Patrick Ta blushes now I have. She sculpted but I don't have any of his blushes. So the one that I just picked up, I believe was uh, It Girl. The one that I was looking at is the fuchsia one that says, and that one is, I think she's giving. 
that's the one that I saw someone using and it looked so fabulous for summer. Let's move on to Giorgio Armani. I love Armani products, especially the base products, concealer and foundation. I've completely gone out of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is probably in my top three of favorite foundations of all time that I've completely gone through. And NARS Sheer Glow, which was not in the store, was is, is another one, but I will link it down below because I've seen it online. But the Power Fabric Concealer. This is a phenomenal concealer. It's in my top three of best concealers. I am in six. Right now I have six, but I would go up to a little bit more yellow of 6.5, in my opinion. That one is a perfect shade. The other one I had has a little bit, a tad bit more gray in it or olive tone, but to brighten under the eye, you definitely wanna go with one that's a little bit more yellow. It will brighten. So I'm just looking for my shade so it can go in the cart. I'm just saying, there it goes. Yes, goodbye. Get in there, yes. Since we're on recommendations, I recommend the Sephora Pro Brushes. Now remember, this is under Louis Vuitton House of Makeup. I believe that's, it's LVHM, I wanna say. I think those are the acronyms. But um, I have the powder brush. Now, I'm gonna show you in a minute what's gonna go in my cart, but I highly recommend these brushes. These pro brushes are very, very good. They're long lasting and they blend so smoothly. I love at the bottom that it's showing and you'll see in a minute, it shows what's a powder brush, what's a blush brush. The That is a bronzer brush right there. No, that's a powder brush, but the larger one is a bronzer brush. It's crazy. And then the blush brushes. Um, I know the 96 is one that I'm looking at getting, and then I saw this. Wait for it. So fam, I saw these kits, these brush sets, right? Then they had this ready to roll, that is 72. And it had pretty much every pro brush that I desired in this. And I know this should be really like $300, seriously. And then I started looking at brush cleansers because you can't have good brushes and not the brush cleansers to go with it. So. That one I was considering. I do have the dry shampoo one that they have that's like, it cleans it off and you can use it without getting your brush wet. But this, these are definitely, that one was in the cart, but the brushes as well. Now this is a desire of mine, okay? This is so many of the SPFs and I am such an SPF girl, but these, it had two full sizes and this is the sun safety kit. I, I just want to try them all. I want to try, I don't, don't, don't come for me, okay? I know we're teeter-tottering going back and forth, but you shopping with me. Some of the things I want to try, some of the things I'm recommending, that's how you shop with your girlfriend. Now, Estee Lauder Double Wear is one that I will tell you is in my top five of favorite foundations. This one is phenomenal. Probably my favorite in the summer, just because it's transfer resistant. It is sweat proof. And so sun um, spice sand is my summer shade. My winter shade is cashew, okay? Know your shades, yes. And there's such a wide range of shades. I absolutely love it. I also love the Hydra, the one at the bottom, the Hydro, it's like a, it's like a, um, not a skin tint, but I'll link it down below. Yes. Now, I have not tried anything House Labs, but I hear that the blushes are phenomenal. Now, this is what I get for browsing and perusing Tati's <laughs> Instagram. I saw this hibiscus haze, I think that's what it's called, and from House Labs is such a beautiful shade. Let me show you the packaging on these two. It's such like a sleek i don't know if this reminds me of gucci or dior but i absolutely love the shade and i also love the house labs packaging y'all see the lip products y'all i didn't put anything lip in my cart but 
let's go over to Pat McGrath. This is also one of my favorite foundations. I am such a base product person just because that's that, that's the makeup artistry in me. And so the Sublime Skin Perfection, Skin Perfection uh, Foundation, I am medium 18. This is phenomenal, okay? Just as much as the concealer. The concealer is great too. So those are, that's the concealer and foundation combo that I would purchase as a recommendation, okay? They're under eye setting powder. I really like, but it breaks on you. So I'm gonna give you a remedy in just a second. The Micro Smooth, okay? That's what I was gonna say. I do have the Huda Beauty and Cherry Blossom, the pressed one. So when I've been seeing some, I've been seeing some people talk about this powder from one size, they're um, not their blurring powder, but they're, they're loose setting powder. And so that one I just picked up and I'm curious. So it went in the cart, just saying. Okay, so we're over at Huda Beauty and I was looking for my shade. They did not have it. I think I needed peach, but look at the color correctors. Color correctors are a must have for me just because black under, dark under eye circles blah, blah, blah. dark under eye circles are such it's it's hereditary in my family so the, those I would I was curious about but they didn't have my shade so I moved on but that's definitely something that I would put in the cart online you know so that's the great thing about going in the store okay so now we're moving on to Sephora collection now y'all I'm gonna tell you, I took advantage of this before the sale because what? It was 20, now it's $7. Now online, the last time I saw the Micro Smooth, the Multi Face, uh, the Multi Smooth Face Powder was $10, it's $7. I don't think, well, I know it's not gonna be that price because I found out from the attendant that this is being reformulated, but I love this so much. Take a lighter color, as your under eye setting powder and then a darker shade for your bronzer so y'all i kid you not you're gonna see this in my sephora haul probably <laughs> you're gonna see this one because this was such a good deal but even at its price with 30 percent off i would still get this product okay highly recommend this product it is phenomenal and i did get it in ebony so um, I already have it in tan and bronze. Those are my, that's my natural face shade of my setting powder. So these to me are better than the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. And y'all, I used to work for MAC. I think that one has a little bit more luminosity, but in terms of setting for the price, hello, you can't beat it. So I got Ebony and I also got Nude. I was looking for beige, they didn't have beige, so I went for, and it is undetectable. It's great for mature skin. You guys, listen to your girl. I'm just saying, you shopping with me? I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you on, all right? Okay. So this one is a given by Milk. It's probably their highest selling product, the Milk Hydro Grip. Best for long lasting makeup. I used, I wanted to put skincare last in this one and sandwich it. This Belief Vitamin C Moisturizer, any moisturizer from Belief, believe me, is good. So good. Now, I am recommend this, but I'm recommending Shiseido. Their face cream and their serums are phenomenal. I'm just saying, it's K-Beauty. It is so good. And... Um, I would go through this through a heartbeat. So this is going into the cart. It's a recommendation and something that would go into my cart in terms of skin care. Yes, we are not playing any games and we have mature skin. Okay, we need effective skincare, I'm just saying. Moving over to Ole Henriksen, this is such a good, their banana eye cream is very, very good. I like it. Um, a whole lot 
as well as their moisturizer. Now I got this in a set last time and you're gonna see during the sale, you're gonna see sets. So if you wanna try something or you want to try something else in the line, I highly recommend the one that I just showed you. And also there is one up top that you're gonna see the glow cycle. I have that one and that toner in it, it has, it's like a glycolic toner. It is so good, okay? You get the moisturizer, the vitamin C serum, and the toner in it. It is a plus. Grab that. You see how that one's the last one? That's why. Grab it. Now, this one is a recommendation by Andrea Renee. I've never tried the Oat Cleansing Balm by Inculus, but that one is inexpensive. It was like $13 for the Jumbo. Hello? So that's going into the cart. But a recommendation that I would make is the Laneige sleeping mask. I still have not find, found a sleeping mask better at night. I like Lana Lips, but I like the sleeping mask by Laneige a lot better. Another recommendation is the Honey Halo Moisturizer by Pharmacy. That one, put that in the cart, just go ahead. Thank me later. It is so good. Green Clean, put it in. Best cleansing balm of all time. I mean, it cleans the skin, like cleanse cleanses it. And such a good, just throw that in the cart, y'all too. Throw that one in the cart. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm shopping with you, okay? So your girl is going to tell you the best of the best. I'm just saying, let's go to Biosense because we like, now this is sustainability, but this is an effective, really good brand, okay? Their rose oil that I'm about to pick up, that one is the best. But this one is actually one I want to try. It's a retinol. Now, retinol with squalene, I really like that because retinols usually dry you out. Okay, so that one is a definitely try. Throw in the cart for me to try that one. Now, this rose oil I have tried and is such a good product. As you can tell, it has an Allure Award winning product. Uh, label on it and it's so good now in terms of Tula I've only really tried tried two products and that is their cleanser and that protect and glow phenomenal throw that in the cart it's so good just girl I know I'm showing you out the picture but just put it in the cart <laughs> trust me that one is a really good sun sun protectant uh, SPF it has SPF and it gives you that shimmer like the Becca uh, backlighting filter used to give that one is so good so let's keep shopping girl let's move on to youth to the people this dream mask so good I can't think about what it reminds me of but that one go, that's going that's dropping the cart worthy okay 10 out of 10 so good it's a good hydrating mask especially in the winter time but one of the best cleansers that i keep buying over and over and over again is the kale green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser long name but it's worth it but then i saw this you guys for those that just feel so bad about like getting rid of that bottle they finally came with a superfood refill yes keep your bottle I love that glass bottle. It's so aesthetically clean and pleasing in my bathroom. And so I absolutely love that. Okay. Still perusing Sephora and saw this. The Butter Drop. I think I have gone through two of these. It is so good for long lasting like fragrance. This one, Tatcha. Y'all, I haven't found a product from Tatcha that fails me. That is such a great serum. This mask that is purple toned. I was like, what am I putting on my face? But when I tell you these two products, first time I use them, first time I use them, let me say that again. First time I use those, I saw results, like instant results. My skin was more supple. It was brighter. It was glowy. Like, it, it was so good, okay? Tatcha, it's pricey, but girl, it was worth it, okay? So I'm just gonna put that back. 
those two are worth it. And then I saw this. Now those two were recommendations from Tatcha and the Dewy Skin Mist. I don't know if you're gonna see that one, but this one actually I wanna try. It has SPF in it, the Kiss Suit Lip Tint, and they have one that looks like Black Honey from Clinique. That's old school. Don't come for me if y'all don't know about that one, but it's so good. This is going into the cart. Like that one I wanna try, okay? I love lip balms and this one has SPF in it and you need something even, you don't want everything else to be smooth and then your lips being wrinkled. You know what I'm saying? SPF affects everything on your face. So the Dewy Skin Mist, one of my favorites. I've gone through a travel size of this. I need to get a larger size. So that is going into the cart. You're about to see. Yes. you, it, Yeah. And I'm up here spraying some on my face to refresh my face in Sephora because I was a little bit dry. Okay, moving on to Summer Fridays. This Vitamin C Serum, this CC, CC Me Serum, so good. I did see that they have some lip oils and the lip balms I wanna try and that's it. Y'all, thank you for shopping with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you like mommy life and lifestyle videos, then hit me up subscribe. I'll talk to you soon.